Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the different classifications of uh, not only the alkyl halides but we have also discussed about the halogen derivative of alkene and uh, depending on that we are going to not only discuss about uh, how to draw the structure of the IUPC name of the halogen but we are also going to classify whether it is uh, the primary alkyl halide, secondary alkyl halide or the tertiary alkyl halide. So based on that though, let us discuss about this lecture. So this is what we are going to do that is uh, we are going to draw the structure of the IUP series that has been provided to us. So this is what we have did in our alien standard also but now here we are going to classify it uh, in uh, that is primary, secondary or the type of uh, classification of HDA. So now based on this one so let us discuss the first one that is it has been given as that is 3 chloro 3 ethyl hexane. So how can we draw the structure? So first of all look at the uh, that is suffix. So the suffix uh, or we could say that the parent uh, hello alkane is in this case is the one that is hexane so the parent alkane mm -hmm. in this case is hexane so therefore we have to uh, make the structure that is six carbon atom in a straight chain so that is this is the first carbon atom second third fourth fifth and sixth carbon atom so now the first thing that uh, the other thing that we have to do is we have to number it so therefore i am numbering it as first carbon atom second third fourth fifth and sixth so the work of this has been done and now let us move on to the substituents. So in this case, the substituents are basically uh, here. Is, I could see that is one is chloro and one is ethyl. But they have a particular number that is associated with it, and that signifies the position of uh, the uh, group or suppose or the position of the atom. So in this case, basically it is mentioned as three chloro. So that indicates that the chloro or the chlorine atom is attached to the third carbon atom. So therefore, we could easily attach uh, here. That is. Is a position of the chlorine atom that has been attached on the third carbon atom in a straight chain of uh, hexane. And moving to the next one, that is, uh, it has been given as ethyl as a group that has been attached to this hexane. So, therefore, and also it has been attached to the third, that is, uh, third carbon atom of the hexane. So, therefore, I could write it as C2H5. So, this is what we have mentioned over here. And now let us fulfill the hydrogen and let us fulfill the valency of the carbon atom over here. So, therefore, here it could be written as CH3. And even though it could be written as CH3 over here and here it would be CH2 there will be no hydrogen over attached over here because it has been fulfilling its valency and now here it is CH2 and here also it is CH2 so this is the structure of IUPC uh, name of the halo alkane that we have discussed about and this one was the first example but uh, let me discuss about this thing whether it is a uh, which type of uh, HD or which type of halogen atom says I could see that there is only one uh, halogen atom that is being associated in this overall uh, uh, alkane or in this overall compound so therefore this could be given as that this is a mono hda or mono halogen derivative of alkane but now let us talk about which type of mono halogen derivative of alkane it is whether it is primary secondary or tertiary so if you observe this uh, halogen atom that is chlorine so this chlorine atom is attached to a carbon atom that is being attached to here so now this carbon is associated with three carbon atoms around it so that is one which is which is directly bonded so therefore this is first one i could say the second one and this c2 hxi can be written as that is ch2 ch3 so we well, we could say that this carbon atom is nothing but a tertiary carbon atom so since this chlorine is attached to the uh, that is uh, the tertiary carbon atom so therefore this is an overall to be called as this, this tertiary alkyl halide So this is what we could uh, talk about. So, so this is the tertiary carbon atom that is what we have got over here. And now let us discuss about the, how many uh, primary carbon atoms are being attached uh, in this one. So therefore, this is the primary one. So one, two, and this C two H five can be written as CH two CH three. So here there is CH three over attached over here. So therefore, we could say there is there are three primary carbon atoms over here. Talking about the tertiary one, as we have discussed here only that there is only one tertiary atom attached over here. So there is what tertiary carbon atom that is associated with this one and now let us discuss about uh, the secondary one so this carbon atom is attached to two carbon atoms so therefore making this to be a secondary one and here also it has been attached to two carbon atoms so therefore even this is secondary even this is secondary and here also this could be written as it could be secondary so therefore there are basically one two three and four four secondary carbon atoms 
so this is what we have discussed and uh, so this was the first example and now let us move on to the next one that is so this is the second uh, IPC name of the hello alkane and for which we have to draw the structure so how can we draw the structure the first thing is yes again we have done it in our previous lectures also that is in the land standard also and uh, now in this case if you would observe that uh, the parent name or the parent alkane in this case is butane making this to be having a four carbon atoms in a straight chain so therefore one two three four four carbon atoms are made in a straight chain and uh, Talking about the next one that is the substituents. So let us uh, number it first and then we'll move on to the substituents. So therefore this is one, two, three and the fourth carbon atom and we have given the name to that also. And now let us to, uh, look at uh, the substituents and that is basically iodo. And that is iodo is attached to the first carbon atom. So I am attaching it here. Talking about the next one that is uh, methyl. So but there are two methyls that is uh, that is the reason here it is mentioned as dimethyl. But those methyls are attached on the carbon number 2 as well as carbon number 3. So here there is methyl group and here also there is methyl group. So we have attached over here and now let us fulfill the uh, that is valency of the carbon. So therefore it could be CH3 over here, here it would be CH2, here would be CH and similarly here also it would be CH. So this is what we have discussed and we have, and we have draw the structure of the IUPC name of halogen. So now let us classify. Uh, so in this case basically we could see only one halogen atoms and that is only possible that once it has replaced one hydrogen atom of this alkane uh, with only one iodine atom so therefore this is what we have got over here so therefore this is a mono HD. and now let us talk about uh, uh, which type of mono HD or which type of alkyl halide it is so as we know that this iodine or this halogen atom is attached to a carbon atom which is attached over here as we could see and that carbon atom is attached to only one carbon atom dietate forming a bond so therefore this is to be called as the primary alkyl halide because this is the primary carbon atom that is being present over here and the iodine that is the halogen atom which is attached to the primary alkyl or primary carbon atom making this to be called as a primary alkyl halide and talking about uh, the number of uh, that is primary secondary and tertiary carbon atom that is very easy to calculate so let us discuss about the primary one so here basically since it was a primary carbon atom even this could be called as primary even this is the primary carbon atom so therefore there are four primary carbon atoms over here and talking about uh, the secondary one so if you would observe that is uh, this carbon atom is attached to three carbon atoms over here again this carbon atom is attached to three carbon atoms over here so we could say there is no secondary carbon atom but yes there are basically that is we could say that is there are two tertiary carbon atoms that has been present in this alkyl halide so this is what we have talked about and that's it so now let us move on to the next one and the next one is yes it's it is three bromo two methyl pentane again we'll focus to the uh, parent name and that is pentane so therefore one two three four five five carbon atoms that will be present in straight chain and let us number it so therefore this is the first second third fourth and fifth and now let us uh, look at the substituents and those are we see bromo as well as methyl but the bromo is attached to the third carbon atom so therefore here we could call it as here we have discussed about bromo and on the second position we could call that is two methyl that is been attached to here so therefore we could name it as ch3 so now let us move on to the next one that is fulfill the hydrogen atoms or we could say that fulfill the valency of the carbon atom so here it would be ch3 here it would be ch3 here it would be ch and here it would be ch and here it would be ch2 so this is what we have mentioned over here so let me talk about uh, this one that is uh, about this name so whenever we give the name to uh, this kind of alkyl we always prefer that the halogen atom should get the least number and that is what it has got uh, suppose if you are moving from that is from this side also it would have got the third number and if one if we, were, we would have moved from this one even this would have got the third number but talking about this one that is this methyl group so this methyl group is also acting like a substituent and that's the reason we have to give the preference to that also so that's the reason we have not given the name from here while while giving the IBC name to this one so the name should be given in such a manner even though the substituents that have been attached uh, they should get the less number so the first preference it was for the halogen atom and then it was to the other one and then only according to that we have given the numbering and we have given the IPC but what we have did here is we have converted the IPC name to the structure so this is what we have got so now let's uh, discuss about which kind of uh, the halogen derivative it is so since we see there is 
only one uh, halogen atom in the overall alkyl halide so that's why it could be called as uh, a monohalogen derivative of alkane but now since it is a monohalogen derivative of alkane so now let us discuss about that uh, which kind of or which uh, uh, type of the monohalogen derivative it is so here we could see that uh, the bromine atom which is attached to a carbon atom over here as we could see so that carbon atom is associated with two carbon atoms forming a bond so therefore this carbon atom is nothing but a secondary carbon atom so therefore the overall alkyl halide is called to be secondary alkyl halide so this is what we have over here and uh, now let us discuss about how many carbon or how many primary secondary and tertiary carbon atoms that are being associated with this one so talking about the primary one so therefore this is the primary one that we have again here it is primary and here also it is primary so making this to be called as there is three carbon atoms that are basically primary carbon atom talking about the secondary one so here there is the one which is attached to two carbon atoms over here so therefore this is the secondary one again this is a secondary one as well as we have discussed over here also that is and talking about the rest of it no there is no other secondary carbon atom so therefore there are basically two secondary carbon atoms and talking about the tertiary carbon atom so therefore here we could see that this carbon is attached to three carbon atoms and again uh, yes only one tertiary carbon atom that has been present over here so therefore we have discussed about this so not only this uh, that is in this lecture we have discussed about how to draw the structure of the uh, ip series of the halo but we have also discussed about the type of it so we have discussed that also and now let us move on with the next one so this is the next example that uh, of which we have to discuss about the how to draw the structure of this one so it is very much simple to understand because as we know that is uh, the parent alkene uh, is basically the ethene so therefore it consists of two carbon atoms and this two carbon atom consists of uh, basically uh, we have to fulfill the substituents so let us give the number first so therefore this is first this is second carbon atom but as we discuss over here that is there are three chloro uh, or three chlor chlorine atoms over here and that are also attached to the first carbon only so therefore we could discuss or we could write it in this way that is cl cl and here it is cl so therefore this is the thing that we have did and now let us fulfill the valency of the carbon atom so here it has been already fulfilled over here so we have to discuss about this thing and this has been fulfilled like this way that is ch3 c cl3 so therefore this could be called as that is the trihalogen derivative of lk and now let us talk about uh, the uh, classification of this one whether it is a uh, uh, primary secondary or tertiary so if you talk about this chlorine atom so this chlorine atom is attached to only one carbon atom over here and that carbon atom is attached to only one CH3 so basically we could call it as a primary carbon atom so similarly we could discuss about this also that is this is the one that is attached to the carbon atom which is attached to only one carbon atom again it is a primary alkyl again primary alkyl so this is what we have discussed over here so it is uh, we could say that this is a trihalogen derivative of alkane and uh, consisting of a primary alkyl halide so this is what we have and now let us move on to the next one that is the last one and as the parent name it is basically butane so therefore we could write it as methane ethane propane and butane four carbon atoms that have been uh, attached to a straight chain and uh, let us give the numbering so therefore this is the first second third and fourth one so now uh, the substitution that i've been attached over here is chloro as well as methyl so therefore on the second position we could see that uh, the chloro has been present so therefore i would write it over here as chloro or chlorine atom that is I have attached over here but uh, there are methyl groups also and those methyl groups are at the position number two as well as on the position number three so i'm attaching the first methyl group that is attached over here and the third or on the second one that is attached to the third one so this is what we have made it and now let us fulfill the valency of the carbon atom so therefore this would be ch3 this one would be ch here it would be no there would be no uh, h over here and there would be three hydrogen over here so this is what we have discussed and we have given the structure to this and talking about uh, whether uh, it is uh, which kind of HDA actually this is a mono HDA or mono halogen derivative because only one halogen is been attached in this overall molecule and uh, talking about the classification of this mono HDA so therefore this could be called as because we know that this carbon uh, which is attached to this chlorine atom over here as you will see so this carbon atom is surrounded by three carbon atoms over here forming only single single bond over here therefore this could be called as tertiary carbon atom so therefore this halogen that is cl is attached to the tertiary carbon atom making this to be called as that is tertiary alkyl halide so this is it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know about how to draw the structure of it and how to determine whether it is which kind of alkyl halide or which kind of uh, halogen derivative of alkane so this is what we have discussed over here and that's it 
So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you'll share this video with your friends and yes, don't forget to subscribe and get a channel. Thank you so much.